ሰርቪስ እንደሆነ ፈሚለን አጥቃቸው ተወላጅ ፋይል ሲያ ኮች ኮች ምን ደግሞ ጋዚ ኮች ፍሪንትሮ ኤት ሆም ጌንስ አት ኢትን ሲቲ ኢስተ የፈጽመ ለክስ ዩ ኦልዌስ ፊል ሰድ ወን ዘ ቲም ፐርፎርምስ ዘ ዌይ ዘ ፐርፎርምድ ዩ ፊል ፎር ዘ ፕሌየርስ አይ ቶት ኢት ዋዝ ኤ ዶሚነንት ፐርፎርመንስ ፍሮም ፍሮም आवर ቲም ክሬትድ ዘ ቻንሲስ ስፔሻሊ ፎር ስታፍ even second half uh, where i thought we, we were not as sharp as the first half but we still uh, created good chances uh, i understand the game that we just played two days ago and it would have uh, shown like it showed the second half but uh, one thing that was missing in all the performance was just the goal and and, and the team deserved better uh, but i can't blame the players for the performance today Uh, we just uh, totally dominated the match uh, created the chances but the ball just did not go uh, into the net good evening good evening uh, coach uh, i hope you are unlucky on the result uh, uh, coach i mean Tembinko Siloch as well as Hepichele I think uh, Loch maybe uh, rested as well as as well as the captain uh, is it is it in anticipation of 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 Saturday and uh, would I be wrong by saying that key players start the game and then take them off just your thoughts on on you starting well Loch not starting and not being in the 18 and secondly coach how far is Tsego Fatomabasa being you know on the bench for Lionel Paris because I think uh, prior to him not being the p- past couple of weeks in the mid stage squad he's been doing relatively well main reason why he's not playing for pirates at the club at the, at the moment thank you a uh, lot had an injury uh, yesterday uh, he was uh, in the team uh, in the last preparation um, he had a, a, a muscle strain uh, which is why we couldn't take him along um, we hope uh, from our medical team Uh, to get the feedback whether he'll be ready or not ready but currently uh, we're not sure uh, with happy it's just management uh, with happy uh, contributing so well as a leader in the team but again we still have to manage uh, him we, he played uh, so many games uh, uh, we played uh, the full match when we played uh, in nel straight and for him to play again today and play on the weekend so it's just management with happy the hofal zumabasa is 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 okay uh, it's just the competition like it is uh, i said before i reserve got six uh, seven good strikers it's just competition he's training well and i'm hoping that he'll get his opportunity soon thank you sir tandy evening coach evening colleagues uh coach how do you view this result uh ahead of the derby is it two points dropped or one point gained thank you definitely two points dropped uh, but when you when you look at uh, us having played on on sunday uh, uh, drive from nelspruit back to johannesburg uh, prepare one day and then you play today and still perform the way we performed uh, i thought the dominance just deserved the result uh, we more than just dominating possession i also thought we created the better chances sometimes i thought there were tap ins Uh, but the ball couldn't go into the net so getting to getting to your question i think it's two points dropped uh, but let's go into the next match uh, with the right mentality and then, then take it from there thank you uh outstanding and uh, thank you colleagues coach i th- okay, please wait for your turn uh, i've asked tashrif to answer the next okay. question thanks sandy Uh, hi coach tough luck on the result um looking towards saturday's big match um, does this for you does this away to derby still hold uh, a big stature in south african football given the, the current um, state of, of of the league and what has happened in the past few seasons with the um, mamelodi sundowns dominating the league my brother can you repeat the question i did not pick the question correctly sorry Please. I'd like to know from you from your perspective does this away to derby still hold a huge stature in South African football given the recent times away with the likes of Mamelodi Sundowns just um, dominating uh, uh, the league in most recent years thanks I think uh, you can't take away the the strength uh, of Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs uh, 
Uh, I don't think the, the DAPI has lost anything except to say that there's no supporters. The supporters have got a big role to play in such matches. And I think the only, the only thing that's missing uh, is the supporters. And you must also see that uh, COVID has uh, really affected big teams than smaller teams. Smaller teams enjoy playing in empty stadiums because they are used to that. But bigger teams find it a challenge. And I think Pirates to an extent has been affected by that. So if you're asking me about the W, Kaiser Chiefs again being the big team with the big support, I thought they have been affected. I think that's the only thing missing. And it also affects the quality of the game that is displayed on the day. Thank you, uh, Sustandi. Uh, Coach? Hello, Coach. Uh, Lorenzo from Midesky Times. Um, I just want to ask you something you just said, you guys, you mentioned that you guys have seven, seven quality strikers um, at the club. Um, but at the present, only 18 goals in 21 games. Obviously, it's, you know, it's difficult, um, you know, rotating, with, especially with so many fixtures piling up. But what is going wrong for Lando Pirates with so much quality in, in midfield, in, 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 in attack, that there's, there's just this, you know, I think the Achilles tendon, I mean, the Achilles of our team uh, is the fact that a lot of players just came back. If you look at the, the strikers that I'm talking about, the others where the passer was injured, he has been out, uh, Gaba has been out uh, for whatever reason. So how they came back, we only have all of them now, uh, but how they trained injuries and, and other reasons have caused that they are not at the same level of fitness. So while we're choosing, but there's also other things to manage, uh, issues like that from injuries. So uh, I acknowledge that we haven't scored as much as we, we want, but again, scoring does not only depend on the strikers, it depends on a lot of factors. For the amount of dominance and matches that we have dominated possession, I think our final third has not been the best. Uh, whether you score through strikers, whether you score through midfielders, but yes, I acknowledge we haven't scored. Uh, frequently as we as we want, especially with the, the dominance of possession that we have had in matches. Uh, Sandy, thank you. I don't know what happened because all the time when I'm about to ask, then it, it switches off. Coach, uh, you have said it a mouthful that you played well, but unfortunately the goals were not forthcoming. Um, looking at the game coming this weekend, and then uh, looking at the stats between you and Kaiser Chief, um, I'm sure you'll agree with me that you need more points than Kaiser Chief this coming weekend. Unfortunately, uh, the Derby has got no form. Uh, the Derby has got no history. Anybody can win the Derby. It depends on the day uh, who's more prepared to, to, to do well in a match. Uh, the mentality, uh, maybe the freshness, uh, but again, uh, I wouldn't go for form, I wouldn't go for history. It's just that the team that is more prepared will win on the day. May I ask uh, that the final question, Karamu, before you go ahead and ask the question, may I ask that you refrain from asking questions uh, related to the social value because there is a, 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 a press conference tomorrow specifically for the social value. So, coach, I'll also ask you to refrain from uh, answering questions related to the tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Osandi. Uh, uh, coach, are you? What exactly disappointed you this evening? Why, why couldn't Pirates score? Uh, because there was a couple of opportunities created here and there. We saw Sakele Barsa just a couple of inches. The ball looked stuck uh, on his feet. What was the main reason Pirates struggled to put the ball at the back of the net this evening? Thank you. It's an easy question from the local, but it's a tough question. Uh, as a coach, you, you first want to have box entries, final third entries, you want numerical advantage so that it gives you an opportunity. And again, you need somebody to take the decision to score. I thought today um, we had the numerical advantage, we had the, the entries in the final third, we had the right movement, maybe the final one. Uh, of taking the ball and executing and putting it uh, in the net uh, did not happen. 
uh, at least the processes towards creating chances uh, is not a big worry uh, in that sense uh, because it becomes a big problem that you don't even enter the final third. But when you play against a low block and but still create the number of chances that we created, it's encouraging. Uh, we just have to work more, uh, maybe frequently on um, on such situations and repetitions of such, uh, so that the players can get the confidence uh, of scoring. But it's not a big problem, yes, uh, from the look, uh, because you're not scoring. But I think it is manageable. Uh, coach, we saw your goalkeeper coach being sent off there. Can you please share with us uh, what happened there? Thank you. I don't have the, the all the details, but uh, what I had and what I shared with the, the officials is that uh, if there were there were insults that were exchanged uh, between the two coaches, the goalkeeper coach and the, the head coach of uh, Cape Town City, if that was the case, then give the red card uh, to both of them. Uh, surprisingly, uh, this one gets the red card and the other one doesn't. Uh, but I'm used to this uh, about officiating. Uh, the lesser said about officiating, the better. Because it's not in our control. But if you count the number of uh, decisions that go against our team, uh, you should be the witness. Golden arrows, the hand, the, 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 the player holds the ball like a goalkeeper, but not decision. I'm just giving you one example. There's plenty like that. So decisions about officials. Let's leave it to the officials. We are not in control. Let's try and control what is in our control, which is uh, the, the players in the field and the outcome. Thank you once again, Austin. Uh, Coach, just this, just a, a general question, and this is based on uh, uh, you know having followed you from Colorado now to Pirates. You're one of the honest, honest coaches. Coach, I'm, I'm looking at the game now. Sundowns are leading, and if they win this one, you might be 18 points or so behind. As an honest man, Coach, do you, do you really genuinely feel that you might catch Sundowns? You've got an opportunity of catching Sundowns this season. Thank you. Let's control what is in our control. Uh, try and gather as many points as we can. But from the look of things, I think the trophy is in Sundowns cabinet. It's up to Sundowns to take the trophy out of the cabinet for competition. But from the look of things, realistically, uh, I think the, the trophy is in their cabinet. Uh, but uh, if it's not mathematically like that, anything is still. Press conference, uh, as well as the recent media, so the reception to the 